On Show Me St. Louis, we want to help you with your next night out on the town. Where to go and what to see. Our live entertainment experts Malik Wilson and Dana DiPiazza are breaking down the best live events in STL this morning. And I have a feeling you might just catch them up at a few of these shows, you two. That is exactly right, Mary. Now, we just cannot get enough of live music this summer. And, of course, we have to share these unforgettable experiences with all of you. That is absolutely right, which is why we've compiled a list of shows covering all kinds of genres that will have you ready to grab your tickets and enjoy the show right here live in the loo. That's right, live in the loo. Now, we know St. Louis is known for oh so many wonderful things, but blues is one of our favorites. And we're not just talking about hockey, though that's some pretty sweet live entertainment too. You have the chance to see Boz Skaggs in Chesterfield at the factory for his Out of the Blues tour. This will be a midweek Pick me up opportunity for you to have some fun on a weekday as the show is on Wednesday, August 17th at 7.30 p.m. Sounds good to me. And you know, Malik and I actually haven't gotten the chance to go to the factory just yet, but I've heard amazing things. One venue I have recently gotten to know very, very well is the St. Louis Music Park in Maryland Heights. I just got to see Surfaces and Laney there, which was <laughs> such a blast, but now we have even more icons passing through the loo. Calling all rock lovers, ZZ Top will take the St. Louis Music Park stage on August 18th at 7.30. Then the iconic and also oh talented Girl on Fire, Alicia Keys, will start your week off right as she's performing there on Monday, August 22nd. Yeah. So you can add those shows to your weekday fun calendar. Man, what an awesome way to start off your week. Alicia Keys doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't get much better than that at all. Now, Dana, speaking of venues, we're getting to know all too well. Next up on our Live in the Lou list is the Hollywood, Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. Now, Dana, and I just recently saw Chris Brown and Lil Baby there, and the crowd was a blast. I think Dana had a little too much fun. <laughs> there, but everyone was just enjoying each other's company and, of course, the music. But the relaxed lawn setting is super cool and unique. Luckily, there's more where that came from. Coming up this month, you'll have the chance to see three popular country artists there back to back starting Friday, August 19th with Keith Urban. Then the next night is Kid Rock, who I love and my dad loves, August 20th. And just one week later, you can see Morgan Wallen there. That's August 27th. And I know people are excited for that one. And the they definitely just will not stop talking about it, but definitely one that you want to grab your tickets for ASAP. But you want to know what I'm excited about? One Direction seems to be getting the love and attention they deserve over in Del Mar, and absolutely nothing makes me happier than that. On Saturday, August 20th, Del Mar Hall is hosting an event called Best Night Ever, which is a 2010s pop dance party inspired by the One Direction boys. And if that's not exciting enough, Malik, I know you're on the edge of your seat about this already. You can attend Haler Night the following weekend at Blueberry Hill. So if you're wondering, Dana, what is Haler? Well, I am. I am. it's my very great friend, of course, we know Harry Styles and his ex great friend, Taylor Swift. That's right, it's another fabulously themed night for the Harrys and the Swifties. Get ready. You might just have to come with me to that one, too. I know you're just dying to go to that. But I have to ask, do you know all the members of One Direction? Okay, putting me on the spot. <laughs> yeah. but I know Taylor Swift, and I've heard of oh. her. And that's what matters. Right, that's that's no. what matters. Boo. As long as you know Taylor Swift, Boo. you're good to go. No, no. Listen, you're a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. But here's the thing. Most Swifties are Harry Styles fans. I loved Ooh. Harry's house. I do know all the members of One Direction. I'm just saying, if I had to pick... Taylor Knight, I'm going to dress as a Taylor Swift era. I'm there not going to lie. There are so many iconic, iconic Harry outfits. How could you say that? That's true. That's true. And he's like, got great style. style. He's got great Icon. style. You don't know all five members? No, no, no. One of them has your name as their last name. Oh, uh, Zayn Malik. Oh, there's yeah. one. That's so there good. We go. And right you know two technically, Malik. Harry Styles. Harry and Zayn. You're pr that's there perfect. You we'll, work we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on that. You have a lot to learn, Malik. And guess who's the pro to teach you? It's us right here. That's got you. That's taking notes. Let me. Get my notebook out yeah. right now and I'm taking notes. <laughs> oh, that's right.